Ingrid and welcome to today's video. Last week I showed you my cleansing routine so today I'm going to be showing you my evening skincare routine. After cleansing my face I like to use a series of different products like moisturizers, cleansers, masks and all that sort of stuff so I'm going to be breaking it down to you and explaining clearly what products I use when and how. After I've cleansed my face and my skin is completely dry, I start with my skincare routine. And the first thing I start with are my eyes actually, because I've got very sensitive eyes, so if I use other products first, sometimes I get a little bit of allergic reaction. The first product that I usually use is a serum, and it's by Estee Laura, it's their Advanced Night Repair Eye. It's quite pricey, but it's got wonderful ingredients and it really does make a difference, especially if you're worried about fine lines and wrinkles and things like that. I take a very small amount on the tip of my finger and I tap it gently over the bone around the eye. Once that that has absorbed, I apply an eye cream. And I've actually got quite a few different eye creams, but the one that I'm loving at the moment is this one. It's by Boy Brown and it's the Extra Eye Repair Cream. So I take a small amount again with the tip of my finger and I apply it again. In this case, rather than tapping it, I actually blend it into the skin because this is quite thick and to massage in it, it seems to absorb better. One of the important things about skincare is to actually listen to your skin and to use the products that you need. Some days when I need a little extra something or I need to deal with a particular problem, I have products that are geared for that. In the case of my eyes, for those days that I really feel that I need an extra boost of hydration, I use this. And this is by Elemis and it's the Absolute Eye Mask. And this is an anti-aging mask. And the way to use this is applying very sparingly in the bone area. So you pat it in for about eight to 10 minutes and you remove it. Once I have finished with my eyes, I go onto my face. And the first thing that I apply again is a serum. And the one that I'm using is also by Estee Lauder. It's the Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Re Recovery Complex 2. And uh, this is a very, very pricey product, but it is a wonderful serum. It has lasted me a long time. I think I have had it for almost a year now. This has got wonderful ingredients. It's really, really good for the skin. Uh, the way that I apply this, this has got a pipette and I apply three drops on my face. I spread it all around my face and I also down my neck. It's very important not to forget about your neck. It's very thick, it's very creamy, but it just disappears almost immediately. Once that the serum has absorbed, I go on to moisturizer. This one is by Royal Nectar. It's the moisturizing face lift and it contains manuka honey and bee venom. This is a very thick moisturizer and it's very very hydrating thanks to the manuka honey. The bee venom is supposed to be an anti-aging product and it's supposed to be very good. Do make sure that you're not allergic to this because I do have a tingling sensation when I apply this product. I take a small amount on my fingers and I just spread it all over my face, massaging it and making sure that it absorbs properly. You do have to wait a little longer with this cream for it to absorb completely. On the days that I have a breakout or spots or something like that, I change my routine slightly. So instead of using the serum and the moisturizer, first I use this. This is the La Roche-Posay Effaclade Duo. I just take a little bit of this, I pat it over the spots themselves or wherever I have uh, imperfections and I let it absorb. On the days that I have imperfections and also two to three times a week, even if I haven't got any breakouts, I like to use a dry oil. And this one is my favorite one. It's by Pi, it's the Rosehip Bioregenerate Oil. It really seems to calm my face down. It helps with breakouts. And if you've got cystic spots, it seems to help them resurface, which is very important. I've obviously already finished this. So the one that I'm trying now is this one. It's by Bio Oil. So I'm going to be trying this now and I will tell you how I get on with this. The way that I use this, I apply it just all over my skin. It's not like a moisturizer. They will not absorb completely into the skin and you will get sort of like a greasy sensation on your face, but that's okay. It will not break you out, even if you have oily skin and I don't apply anything else and I go straight to bed just with the oil. As I said before, it's very important to listen to your skin. So about two, three times a week, I use an oil. The rest of the days I use serum and moisturizer. And then I also incorporate some masks when I think that I need it. First mask that I use is this one. It's by Pi also, and it's the Rosehip Bioregenerate Face Mask. And this is the mask that I use when I feel I need an extra boost of hydration. 
This is a very thick and emollient mask and the way to use this is that you apply the generous layer and leave it for about five to eight minutes. I remove gently with a warm cloth. Another mask that I want to mention is this one. It's by Glam Glow and it's their Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. And this I don't use every single week. This mask I leave for those days that I really think that my skin needs a complete purifying detoxification. You apply this all over your skin, obviously avoiding the eye area. As you can see, it's like a thick, muddy cream and it's got particles. You leave it on the skin and you let it do its job. And this one is actually tingling on the skin. So you can really feel it doing something. Once it's dried up, it's shocking because you can see absolutely every single one of your pores. Once the time finishes, Finishes, I remove all the mask with warm water and because it's got particles you're actually scrubbing your skin at the same time. The skin after using this is unbelievably soft, it's like baby skin ready for that special event. Now we mustn't forget to take care of our lips because at least in my case mine are usually very dry and flaky and I want to have them in tip-top condition to use all of my beautiful lipsticks. So the first thing that I like to do is to scrub my lips but I don't use a scrub every single day because I do think that's a little bit excessive. And the one that I like is this one. It's by Sarah Hap and it's the lip scrub and I've got it in vanilla bean. It just smells heavenly. It's really creamy. It's got uh, nice little sugar particles. Uh, after using this, I remove it with a damp cloth and my lips feel lovely and hydrated because this is actually hydrating in itself. The other thing that I like to use for my lips, and this I do use every single night, is this, it's the Nooks Rev de Miel Lip Balm. And this is the best lip balm that I have tried. It's actually a matte lip balm, and it's the only one that I place on my lips when I go to bed and then in the morning, it's still there. I do recommend you give it a go if you've got dry lips. So that's my skincare routine for the evening. You must always take into account that obviously each person's skin is different, but nevertheless, I hope that this routine has helped you in some way and has given you some ideas and some tips. Please press thumbs up if you have enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.